Mitchell. I'm the collections manager at the Dr. Pepper Museum and Free Enterprise Institute. And today I wanted to talk to you about one of our most frequently asked questions at the museum. And that is, why is there a 10, 2, and a 4 on everything? Well, it's actually a pretty interesting story. In the 1920s, Dr. Walter H. Eddy did a series of studies at Columbia University, and he determined that your blood sugar drops at 10.30, 2.30, and 4.30. So what does that mean for us? That means when our blood sugar drops during those times, we get tired, hungry, cranky, and we're just generally not as productive as we would like to be, or as we're able to when our blood sugar is up. So to counteract those effects, they said that you should have a snack at 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 4 o'clock because that will get your blood sugar up and you'll be more productive throughout your day. Makes a lot of sense, right? So in 1926, Tracy Locke Dawson, who was Dr. Pepper Company's ad advertising company, um, had an in-office competition to come up with a slogan based on the information from the study. Uh, one of the employees there, Earl Ricey, came up with the winning slogan, which was drink a bite to eat at 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 4 o'clock. So that meant instead of having a snack, you could simply have a Dr. Pepper at those times and it would have the same effect as having a snack. It would pump you up and get you ready to go throughout your day. Or maybe I should have said pep you up and get you ready to go throughout your day. For this slogan, he got a $25 bonus. If we look at inflation, that would be around $365 today. So it's an okay amount. Um, they used this slogan in various ways through the 1960s. So it's one of Dr. Pepper's most used slogans. I do have to say though, Back then, Dr. Pepper was a little different in that it came in smaller containers. So today, when we have our Dr. Pepper, our can of Dr. Pepper, that's 12 ounces, right? So if we were having three of those, that's quite a bit of Dr. Pepper. Um, but back then, a bottle of Dr. Pepper was just about six and a half ounces. So in grand total, if you were having those three Dr. Peppers a day, you would only be having a little over a can and a half. So that seems a little more doable in today's viewpoint as well. Um, so this was a really successful advertising campaign for Dr. Pepper and it really amped up sales. But a really great thing it had a really great thing it helped Dr. Pepper with was during World War II and their sugar rations. Um, so they argued that the sugar was essential to providing an energy boost, one that could help both soldiers and those working in factories. By doing this, they were able to keep up their sugar rations, whereas other companies folded or some companies like 7-Up had to reformulate their drinks to include less sugar. So this advertising campaign and this study really helped Dr. Pepper and it helped them to keep going in the long run when so many companies had to fold because they weren't allowed their sugar rations during World War II. Alright, thanks for joining me today.